This is section 4.9 and we are going to talk about function notation. And this is just basically a way of writing something that you already know how to do. You already you already know how to do this. It's just the notation. Um, like for example, we, we have this process y equals x squared. So if I told you uh, x equals 3, what's y? You would go, oh, okay, I just substitute y in for x. So 3 squared y equals 3 squared, which is 9. Here's how this would look in function notation. f of x equals x squared. Now, there's a couple different ways to think of f of x. Uh, one way is it's just a y. Um, and another way I'll talk about in a minute. But instead of saying x equals 3, we'll say f of 3. So what that's saying is notice the x is a 3. So that just means x equals 3. So plug it in. 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. So f of 3 is 9. So what's going on here is we, we retain the kind of the x spot. And we think of f as the process. So this f right here is standing for squaring the input. In other words, f is a machine. And we named it f. And what we're saying with this notation is, if I plug 3 into this machine, it's going to square it, and it's going to spit out 9. So plug 3 into f, the procedure f, you get 9. That's function notation. That's, that's how it works. Uh, so let me, let me write another one. And what's cool about it is, you know, we're used to letting variables stand for number. Now we're letting variables stand for process. Like f stands for squaring the input. Um, here's, a, here's another one. I could say something like uh, g of x, let's say. So g of x is going to equal um, negative 4x plus 3. So notice now g stands for this process. Of, in my input's x, uh, negative 4 times whatever my input is plus 3. So if I ask you to find g of negative 3. Notice what I'm saying is x equals negative 3. So you just substitute it in. It takes the place of this x. Negative 4 times negative 3 plus 3. Negative 4 times negative 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. So g of negative 3 would be 15. Or I could say, what's g of 10? So same thing. g of x, g is this process right here. 10 is my input into that process. So negative 4 times whatever the input is, 10, plus 3. So negative 40 plus 3, negative 37. So g of 10 is negative 37. Notice what this is saying is when I plug 10 into process g, it spits out negative 37. That's how function notation uh, works. That's the whole idea behind it. Um, let me come up with another one. I could have something like h of x equals uh, the square root of b plus 14, something like that. So let's see, what would h of negative 5 be? Whoops, one thing I want to fix. I'm not going to say h of x because my input is b. So I would say h of b is that b. So h of negative 5, let me plug that in. Negative 5 plus 14. Negative 5 plus 14 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. Awesome. Or how about if I said, what's h of negative 15? Let me plug it in. Uh, I plug negative 15 into the process h. This is the process h. So negative 15 plus 14. Square root of negative 1. I'm just going to stop right there because if I try and square root of negative, I get an imaginary number. We only want the reals. So no real answer to there. All right. Uh, one more example. I'll just name this one j. Uh, j of x is going to be 2x squared minus 3x. Now notice this one's a little different because it has two input spots, this and this. So let's say j of 7. So I'm going to take 7, plug it into this process j. So 2 times x is 7, minus 3 times x is 7. Notice it got plugged into both input spots. 7 squared is 49, 2 times 49 minus 21, what is that? 98 minus 21 is 76. So I could say that j of 7 
is 76. In other words, if I take the input 7 into the process J, it spits out the value 76. Uh, you know, I said last one, but I'm going to do one more example. Uh, I'm just going to call this one G. X minus 1 over X plus 1, just so we can get this fraction in. So G is the process, input minus 1 divided by input plus 1, and let's plug a 4 into this. So G of 4. Plug 4 into the process G, I get 4 minus 1 over 4 plus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 plus 1 is 5, and I can just leave it as that fraction right there. All right, that's function notation. I'm just going to ask you to practice um, inputting these, you know, recognizing this sort of form, writing it this way and what it means, and then evaluating them. Message me if you have any questions. Give that assignment a try.